search for a fuel-efficient car is capturing the interest of some local college students this morning. They're competing in a global eco-challenge this morning, and two local teams to share with you this morning. From Cedarville on the left, Dr. Larry Zavotny, we join you, and also Wright State University, uh, led up by uh, Maria Follenkamp. We appreciate you joining us live from Houston, Texas this morning. All right, you picked a good time to be in Houston. We've had all sorts of weather troubles here, but you should have a good day, according to Jamie Jerosic. Maria, let's start with you. Talk about the uh, car you've created, please. Uh, we've altered our design from last year. A uh, team from last year designed it, um, and this is our first time. So um, we changed the drive system, the engine, the fairing. Um, we put a lot of work into it. All right, and Dr. Zavatni, right, please Dr. Uh, Zavatni, tell us about your car. Tell us about your car. Well, these cars start as ideas on paper. This year we've added some neat features to this car, uh, a transmission. We have a new computer system on board. Uh, it goes pretty good. Should get almost 2,000 miles a gallon this year. Are you getting interest there from interest some, there of the major, some of the major, uh, major companies or uh, major auto companies? companies? I'm not sure. The auto companies have their own ideas about what they ought to do, and here we're dealing with uh, students who are learning about engineering. So this is a good opportunity for them to learn about the automotive industry, to learn about fuel efficiency, to learn about design, aerodynamics, uh, structures, internal combustion engines, and system design. Now, if we could turn to Maria yeah, just a moment, I'm curious. Moment, uh, I'm you're going to test drive your vehicle out on the streets of Houston. I mean, can it go 55 miles per hour, or how's this all going to work? How's this all going to work? Not quite 55, but I guess if we had a long enough straightaway, maybe, just maybe. Um, the max we've hit so far is around 35, which is well, way over what we need, but. Um, it's decent enough. Um, it'll be an interesting drive around here. It's definitely a little bit of a different track than what we were practicing on, um, but it should be a good experience. And to the students, we want to say congratulations. We thank you for being with us this morning. Time limits us from talking with you, but we're very proud of what you're doing out there. A long-distance school patrol today. <laughs> And again, be grateful you're in Houston. Yes. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank you for joining us. Our time now is 649.